What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys what I have in my gym bag right here. And these are just items that I take with me on a day-to-day -day basis to the gym to help me get through my workout and you know just to be like hygienic and stuff so you'll see that right now. Let's get into the video. First off what I have is two water bottles, one for actual water and one for pre-workout. Um, I think it's really gross when like I put pre-workout in my water bottle and then I fill it up with water after it's done and then you get like that gross aftertaste that's just like ugh, cringeworthy. This water bottle is actually a lot bigger than the regular blender bottles. This is 26 ounces so I do drink a lot of water and it's really important to stay hydrated at the gym so having a bigger water bottle helps with that. And the pre-workout that I use is the C4 Cherry Limeade Flavor. It's awesome and I love it. It gives me a lot of energy. Um, I know a lot of people don't take pre-workout, but my roommate actually got me into it, so we share this. The next thing that I have in my gym bag is a sweatband, and I love, love, love having the sweatband. It is great. I use it every single time I do cardio, and it just helps you sweat in your midsection a lot and get rid of excess water weight. Um, <laughs> I get a lot of stares when I put this on in the locker room because a lot of people think it's like a waist trainer. This is not a waist trainer. This helps you sweat and lose and it helps you with weight loss and stuff. So I get like that big judgment look when I'm putting it on the locker room. Like the next thing I have is an armband. I wear this when I run outside. Um, so I'll leave my gym bag in the car and just grab this thing, pop it on my arm and just go running. It's really convenient to have if you're not running on a treadmill at the gym. So you can't like put your phone in the monitor that it has. Um, this just straps on your arm and you don't have to like carry like your phone while you're running and stuff. So yeah, really great thing to have. The next thing that I have in my gym bag is gloves. I like to have these because they protect my hands against calluses. Um, not really a lot, but they still do. I don't like calluses on my hands. I think it's really gross. So if I know that I'm having like a really heavy arm day or like lifting heavy on a certain day, I will bring these with me and just pop them onto my hands and yeah, it protects me against from like ripping and stuff. The next thing that I have in my gym bag is a pair of headphones. Um, your girl always forgets headphones and I hate it. So I actually just popped a pair in my gym bag so I never forget them anymore. Um, this actually, I have a 7 Plus, so I actually have an adapter that hooks onto this cord so I can plug it into my phone. I really want to get a pair of wireless headphones for lifting because this cord gets in the way of everything and it's really freaking annoying. The next thing that I have is two hand wraps. I'm a boxer for title specifically. I am actually a trainer there. So yeah, I like to have a pair of these um, if I want to just go take a boxing class somewhere on the go. I like going boxing because it burns up to a thousand calories per session. It's a really great cardiovascular workout. It works your arms, abs, legs, and basically your entire body. So it's really, really great. I love going there at least three times a week. The next thing that I have in my gym bag is a headband and hair ties, you know, just in case you have flyaways or whatever. Um, this is great to have. I have two different types of hair ties. This one, just a regular one, you know, whatever, typical. And then this one. My cousin, oops, cut. <laughs> uh, my cousin actually introduced me to these ones. These hair ties do not rip out your hair. Like, it's really great to have, and my hair grows really slow. So, this is a great um, alternative to actual hair ties. Highly recommend these. Life hack, ladies. Life hack. The next thing that I have in my gym bag is just girly things. Tampons and a panty liner because you never know when Mother Nature wants to screw you over. I had that issue before, and let me tell you, my friends, it is not cool. You always want to be prepared in the gym, so just carry, you know, just girly things. The next thing that I have in my gym bag is a towel, and I like to use this, you know, for like when I sweat too much or like when I take a shower in the morning at the gym. It's nice to have a towel because a lot of gyms do not provide you with towels because it's like unsanitary really. So um, bring your own towel. And it's actually pretty big. It's like a decent sized towel. So um, again, it works well for a sweat towel and an actual like shower towel as well. The next thing that I have in my gym bag is a dry shampoo. I love it, not your mother's, cruelty free. Um, it's great um, when you don't have time to shower, you can just spray it on your head and you don't have to worry about taking a shower. It absorbs a lot of the oil in your hair. Really, really great product to have. The next thing that I have in my gym bag is a hairbrush because again, if you shower at the gym in the morning, you don't wanna have nappy hair. So bringing a hairbrush is really convenient. Getting into the last and final pocket here. The last and final things that I have are toiletries and deodorant because no one likes B.O., let me tell you. So um, again, if I'm showering at the gym, I just bring this nifty little packet of toiletries with me. It has shampoo, conditioner, 
body wash, lotion, chapstick, perfume, and Q-tips. This is really convenient to have in your gym bag, especially if you have somewhere to go. Um, get done with your workout, shower, this is great to have. And brand deodorant because you don't want to smell like absolute crap, okay? And the last and final thing that is not in my gym bag that does not fit is... It's a yoga mat, so um, I love to do yoga. I am a yogi, I love hot yoga. It is such a great like stress reliever and it burns a lot of calories, um, especially if you do hot Pilates. Having your own yoga mat is a lot more sanitary than just you know using the ones that they have there and even if they don't have them there, you're always prepared. So I leave a yoga mat in my car, especially if I'm like by a yoga studio or like, my, or, like by my own yoga studio and I wanna do some yoga real quick. Um, yeah, that is everything that I have in my gym bag. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below again. It really just helps support my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.